Hi, welcome to Empty Nest Creations. My name is Wendy, um, and what we're going to do today is I'm going to share a thrift haul. Um, some things that I specifically went out um, looking for some things to decorate for Easter and um, some more decorations for spring. Um, and so I'm going to show you some of the things that I found, um, and then um, over the next few weeks I'll be I'm doing some DIYs with some of these items and um, show you how we use them in our home for um, Easter and spring. Um, so the first thing that I found was this um, lace edge and it's a table runner. It's really narrow. Um, this will go um, on our entry table. It's green and white with a little bit of gray in it. Um, it kind of reminds me of some grass, um, but I really liked this lace um, detailing on the edge. Um, and this was 59 cents at our um, local Goodwill. So I will clean this up and we'll be using this um, for our entry table. Then I found um, a couple of vases and I'm going to show you um, both of the vases at the same time. So this one um, is green and you'll look really close right here. You'll see that there are a couple of bunnies um, facing one another on the front of this vase and it just has a, a vine pattern on it. Um, and this vase was $1.99. And this one um, was actually a um, dollar um, and it has some um, just some roses, pink roses painted on the front. Um, and so I thought these two would look really nice um, with just a few little flowers coming out of them. So um, I'll use both of these um, for our spring decorations. Okay, so <clears throat> this um, candle holder um, I actually picked up at a... Um, um, flea market where people rent booths and sell stuff um, and this one um, was two dollars and then I was in a different um, thrift store and found this one um, and I thought they looked really similar um, one's a little shorter than the other um, and they're painted different but um, I can definitely um, paint this one similar to this one um, so that they look alike and then we can use them as a pair to display candles um, for um, spring. So I really liked those. Set those over here. Um, so then I found at um, one thrift store, I'm going to slide this basket out of the way, at one thrift store I found several um, rabbits. And so I'm going to show you those rabbits. Um, this one has a little basket on his back. Um, and I'm not sure if I like the colors on this one. I may paint it um, either white or um, brown, gloss brown to look like chocolate. Um, but I thought he was really cute. Um, it'd be cute to put an egg in the back um, just for Easter. This one was um, $2.99. Um, but everything in this booth was actually on sale. So um, I picked up this one. And then this one was super, super cute. Little burlap bunny. Um, when he has a little um, wreath around his neck. Um, super cute. His ears actually have wire in them. So they can be shaped um, however you want them. But just thought he was really, really cute. Um, he has a little bit of lace detailing on his tail and right here on his chest. Um, so he's really cute and he was $2.99. Then, um, I found this little brownish bunny. Um, I just loved his eyes. I thought his eyes were so precious. Um, and he was actually just a dollar. You can see his tag right there. He was a dollar. 
Um, so I picked this one up and then I have this one that's just white. Um, and I think I may paint this one and this one to look more like this one. To just be white with some little pink in the ears and a little pink on the cheeks. Um, I thought this one was really cute. Um, and this one was um, marked at $3, but he's been broken. His ear has broken off and been put back on. Um, so I got a discount on that one as well. Okay, so we'll move those out of the way. A little bunny. Uh, and then I found these plates. Um, and this is a set of two plates. And if you see, um, there's like this really cute little country village print on the front of these um, with just some really pretty pink and blue and yellow flowers on the front. There's a little house. Um, in the background um, and so I thought these would be really pretty to just sit on um, our china hutch and um, display some of the spring and Easter stuff in front of these. Um, these were um, $4.99 um, and I thought they, these were really cute. Um, they're um, a little damaged. They have some chips and things on them but um, we're not going to use them to eat off of. They'll just be for display. So the next things that I found, I found two pictures and um, this one is just kind of a, a mint green. It does have, um, let's see, right here, there's a chip. Um, but if I turn it this way um, and display it, then you won't even see the chip. Um, and again, this is not for um, serving out of, um, this will either sit just on the shelf like it is or with some flowers coming out of the top, but I thought it was really pretty. It's got a nice beading detail around um, the top here and also around the bottom. Um, I just really like the color. The green was really pretty for spring. Um, and then the next one I found, um, this is um, actually from Teleflora. Um, I assume it came with a flower arrangement in it, um, but it has um, some roses on it as well. Um, and it's a little smaller than this one. I'll show you the difference in the size. Um, but um, I thought this one was really pretty as well for spring. So we'll use this one um, to um, display on either the hutch or um, I have a curio cabinet that, that this might go on. And then I found um, this vase, um, and it's just a, a cream ceramic tall vase um, for 99 cents. Um, and so uh, I thought that would mix really well with the Easter crap, um, Easter decorations as well. Um, and this is um, a ceramic um, like planter, um, and it's distressed. Um, it came that way. Um, and it's, it's a, kind of a bluish green color. It's got a gray tint to it. Um, and so I thought I would use this one as well. Um, this one was 99 cents. Um, so those are the containers um, that I purchased. And then I found um, this Easter sign. And I'm gonna pull that tag off. It was $3.99. Um, so this is a um, little Easter sign. It's got some little um, metal Easter eggs along the letters. Um, and then this garland that goes around. And I'm not sure yet if I'm going to leave it like this or if I'm going to do something different with it. Uh, I'm not really a fan of the garland, so I know that either way that's coming off. Um, and not really crazy about this blue um, color so I may repaint um, the two E's. I don't I like the um, pink and the yellow um, but the, the blue is just a little too dark I think. I'd rather have something more this color. So um, I will probably repaint those. 
Um, but I thought this was really cute. They're wooden letters, um, so they can be used in a bunch of different ways. So um, we'll see what we do with this. Um, it'll probably be in a DIY coming up real soon. Okay, so the, the last few items that I found um, I have this floral um, coffee mug. Um, and when I saw it, um, love the colors, love the shape, um, and thought it would be really cute to use for a, like a little flower arrangement. Um, so this was 59 cents um, at Goodwill. And then uh, I found this basket. Um, and the handle's broken, but that's okay. I'm going to um, distress this a little bit on the outside and um, use it to um, decorate with. I um, mean, this basket was $2.99. Um, so we'll use this in some way in our um, spring and Easter decorations. And then I found this really cute little wagon. Um, it doesn't really say where it's from or um, who made it, and it doesn't really roll. Um, it's definitely just designed for um, decor um, uses. So, um, again, not real crazy about the color, um, but we can definitely um, paint this. It's just um, tin. Um, it's green on the inside, um, and then this, like, I don't know, golden with uh, some sort of glazy finish on the top. But um, we will probably um, repaint this and then possibly use one of the rabbits to sit in it um, with maybe some Easter eggs or flowers or something like that. Um, <clears throat> so this is the last of the pieces. Um, from uh, the Goodwill and the local flea markets that, that um, we picked up. Um, maybe a couple other things that um, I have already around the house that I'll be using, but you'll definitely be seeing these items um, in our spring and Easter decor um, throughout our home. Um, so if you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up, um, subscribe, and uh, click the bell. Um, that will notify you when we upload new videos, and that way you'll get to see all of the DIYs and um, the ways that, that we use these items throughout the home. All right, thank you. Have a great day, and we'll see you again soon.